So this spring, my friend Clint Carter decided to come up from North Carolina to do a little black bear hunting, fishing, and just kind of exploring the interior with me. This is a short video of our trip. There's a longer one out there if you guys want it. Get a hold of me, I'll, I'll send it to you. It's about 40 minutes long. Hey, you want to go bear hunting? Hell yeah, let's go kill some bears. All right, here we go. We got Clint. Any words of wisdom for our pre-hunt? Here we go. The right. big adventure. The big black bear hunt. You know what we always say before we go out bear hunting? Ride till you find them, and kill them all. <laughs> all right. All right, we're going to go drop this That's wheeler. Good. We're going to go drop this wheeler and come back and grab another one. In the end, we decided not to go back and get the other four-wheeler. We were pretty excited after two weeks of being at the at the mine to get back out <clears throat> or to get out to the bear stand. So we just unloaded the one four-wheeler and decided to double up. It's about an hour ride in the boat up there, so it saved us, you know, three hours of messing around. So we just doubled up and rode into the bear stand. There's only one spot that's a little bit sketchy with two people just because it's a floating bog out there, but it ended up not being too bad. All right, we're set up. We got our tarp, it's gonna rain. We seen one bear already coming in while we are setting up everything, so hopefully we'll see something in the next couple hours. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. Just sat all night up there and in the Taj Mahal, yeah. Clint got one bear. Yeah, we didn't hang out for very long, so we're gonna re rebuild this one and then leave it for a couple of days. We're gonna go see if we can't find some burbot, some some pike or something. So we'll uh, we'll be back in here a few days. Yeah, we uh, we lost a starter in the boat, so we're. We're just floating now. Got a couple hour float back to the bridge. Got a spare starter at the house. We'll go grab that and continue on doing what we do. Call, call Uber. Yeah, we'll get an Uber. Uber Eats for sure. I'm starving. So we got a starter slammed in the boat, got back up. We went up to uh, the Johnson River, which is the other spot where I have a bear bait. Um, we went up, did a little bit of fishing, set some burbot lines, and then hiked, set a game cam. Once we set that game cam, let it sit for a couple hours, we had some action. So we decided to sit that bait that night and got into, got into a bear. We say, Clint. We did it, buddy. Nice little boar. First. First black bear. First black bear. I don't think he's too happy about it. Good job. Thank you. where the bear died wasn't in a very good spot it was in all kinds of brush and blow down trees and everything but we got her out of there and butchered it up and got Clint to a gravel bar and he skinned it out and butchered it up we went on from there
What's up, Clint? How we doing, buddy? What's for dinner? We had burbot tacos. Damn. And they was awesome. Seen any bears tonight? Yeah. Happened you to get did. a bear. Huh. Imagine that. It's over there in the boat. Oh, hell yeah. Way well, end the perfect day. I think we're going to shut her down for the night. Yeah. After Clint punched his tag, it was pretty much a fishing trip from there on out. Uh, we had one more buddy come down from, he came up from Oregon to uh, work on his dry cabin. So we went and picked him up from Fairbanks and then we just went fishing. We ended up catching burbot, pike, uh, and grayling. And we just toured all over. All in all, we put about 400 miles on the boat and about 150 on the four wheelers. Pretty sweet. Um, this time of year is really cool because the, the cow moose have drop their calves and these calves are running around they look like big dogs they're pretty awesome but they're real slow and shaky so they kind of hang out so you can get pictures of them and get some good video so that was pretty cool to see all that stuff This is where we went up the Clearwater River one morning just to catch a few grayling. We ended up doing pretty good up there. We were only out there about an hour and a half and caught four or five grayling. It's a good time. decided to go up the Good Pasture River just to check it out. Uh, Clint used to work at Pogo, so the Good Pasture River goes under the Pogo Bridge and you drive right by the mine. So we went about 100 miles up this river. We were the first people up past a certain point, so we ended up having to do a little bushwhacking and trail cutting. So it was Clint's birthday, so we let him run the chainsaw and do all the work pretty much. So <laughs> he had a pretty good time, I think. Like I said, this this is a short version. We did about nine days together, nonstop out in the woods. Um, ended up being a full video of about 40 minutes. So if anybody wants to see the whole the whole video, um, just let us know in the comments and I'll get a hold of you. I'm not going to post the entire thing, but I can give you the link to it. Good night, Brad. Good night, Clint. Good night, Clint. Good night, sweet Clint. We had an amazing time in that nine days. It was it was awesome. Uh, it was a great way to spend the spring can't wait to do it again next year and uh, I think 